Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look I'm going to share tips and tricks with you on how to get nice lifted eyes with winged eyeliner on downturned or hooded eyes. So if you guys are curious on how I got from the left to the right then please stay watching. <laughs> So first things first, I'm going to prime my sister's eyes with some soft ochre paint pot from MAC. This is great to neutralize the eyelids so that there's nothing peeking through. If you guys are just using winged liner today you want, and you want to skip the other steps, then you don't have to use a eye primer. I just like to use them, especially for hooded slash downturned eyes because it does allow the shadows to stick better and also stops creasing. Once you've primed your eyes and they're a nice blank canvas to work with, we're going to take our first shadow. I'm using this as a little transition shade, shall we say. So I'm mapping out the shape of the liner that I want to go in with and also deepening up the crease a little bit as well so that there's a bit of depth to the eyes and creating a slight contour so that it's going on an upward angle, giving a subtle lift to her eyes because they are on a slight downward angle. I want to kind of cheat that shape so I'm starting just where her eyelashes finish if you guys can see I don't go all the way to the outer corner because that will accentuate her downturned eyes I'm actually taking it a little bit further in and blending on an upward angle and connecting it through the crease to kind of create a almond shaped eye shall we say and give like I said a subtle lift and contour to the eyes for liner, I'm first of all taking this black coal liner from Makeup Geek. It is in the shade Obsidian and I am again mapping out the liner shape that I want to create on her eyes. Just basically filling in the outer third of her eyes. I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner because that will close the eyes off. I'm keeping this coal liner very focused on the outer corner of her eye. I'm keeping it quite thin to her lash line as well. Nothing special here. We're not doing a wing yet. Once I've mapped it out, I'm going to take a pencil brush and some of this deep brown shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's in the shade Mocha, I believe. And I'm blending out that black coal liner. You want to work fast with this step so that the coal liner doesn't set too quickly so I, what I suggest is doing one eye at a time rather than doing both at the same time. But it's up to you. Next I'm taking these two really deep eyeshadows, one's black and one's a very deep brown from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm basically just placing that over that black coal liner with a precise shader brush from Morphe. Then I go back in with some of that brown eyeshadow that we used before and just blend it out a little bit so it's nice and smoky. And as you guys can see, we're just basically creating that shape of the wing liner that we're going to draw on afterwards. I find having just a wing liner especially on downturned eyes is quite harsh so having a little bit of like a smoky layer underneath diffuses that like really sharp wing liner and makes it look a little bit more natural shall we say and um, softer so it's not so harsh on the eyes and as you guys can see I'm just blending it out softly so it's creating a soft subtle wing up towards the tail of her brow almost creating a kind of shadow for the wing liner that we're going to apply on top. For wing liner, I'm taking my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner. This is amazing in getting a nice, precise, sharp wing. So you guys can see, I'm just showing you, I'm starting from the outer corner of her lashes, not the outer corner of her eye, because again, you're going to accentuate that downturned eye shape. So just cheating it and going a little bit further inward and starting there helps uh, cheat the eye shape a little bit. And I take my time with this, slowly building up her wing, um, going on the angle towards the tail of her brow, and basically yeah, just filling that in. I do bring it toward the inner corner of her eye, but I don't go to the very inner point. I go about two thirds of the way across, I would say. And again, I repeat that same process on the outer corner of her other eye. The tip I would give if you're doing it on yourself is not to like drag your eyelid out like I'm here. I'm pulling her eyes quite tight to get a nice sharp wing. If I was doing this on myself with downturned eyes, I wouldn't actually pull my skin taut because it can kind of change the eye shape as you're drawing on the winged liner. However, I found it a lot easier to draw it on her eyes when I was pulling it tight. And it did work out quite well, so it is up to you. But I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind as another little tip. 
So as you guys can see, her wing liner is nice and drawn on. It's very thin and that smoky liner does diffuse it a little bit so it's not so harsh, which I prefer. And she also prefers that as well with her eye shape. She doesn't like wing liner that much because it can look quite harsh by itself. Next, I'm just highlighting her inner corner and brow bone to really open up her eyes a little bit more. I'm not doing a lot with her eyeshadow today because I did want to focus a lot on that winged liner. I can do a more in-depth eyeshadow tutorial for downturned and hooded eyes if you guys would like. Here's a few other tips I thought I'd just chuck in this video as well is to kind of keep that more cat eye eye shape to your downturned slash hooded eyes or just downturned eyes really. I go in with a nude eye curl and apply it to the very like first to two thirds of her waterline and then I go in with that brown eye curl and apply that to the very outer third of her eye. The brown eye curl is going to kind of close off the eye and make it look a little bit more cat eye and feline rather than rounded which is what downturned eyes can tend to have on the bottom lash line and then that nude eye curl is going to open up that inner third of her eye or the inner two thirds. Then I go in with a deep brown eyeshadow and just kind of smudge that along the outer third of her eye and again going in with those two like lighter brown shades and smudging that out so it's nice and smoky. This again is going to kind of close off that outer third of her eye and make it look, look a little bit more feline and lifted. Then I go in with some of that inner corner highlight again on the very first third of her bottom lash line to open them up a little bit. I do a little sprinkle of it, I don't use too much. Then I go in with mascara to her top and bottom lashes and that is the eyes complete. You guys can apply false lashes to this look if you would like. I thought her lashes were beautiful and long and that she didn't need them for this look. But ones I do recommend are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They always look amazing on her downturned eyes. So if you have a similar eye shape to this, check out the Demi Wispies from Ardell because they look amazing with this look. Otherwise, guys, thank you for sticking through to the end of this video. I hope you found these tips helpful for your own eye shape. Have a great day. I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next tutorial. Bye, guys. Oh, my damn. Right, is the bottom of my eyeballs closed? Sometimes they leave yeah. open and it looks really creepy. <laughs> I learned that on the first video I was in. I was like, oh girl, that ain't cute. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's really beat drop. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait.